So my beautiful people, I am back with another Rune Farm Elden Ring video and this one is a kind of update on a Rune Farm I posted a couple of days back which takes place within the secret or the hidden path to the Halley Tree area. There's actually a much much easier way of getting here without you requiring any medallions. So yes, today we're getting to all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave me a like, really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so... The farm up here will earn you around 100k every minute. This isn't in New Game Plus. In New Game Plus, this will be much, much more. You don't need to have access to the Silver River. I know this is a, no doubt the best farms in the game take place in this area. But if you can't access this area yet, or you made a mistake somewhere throughout your playthrough, there's still ways in which you can farm thousands or millions of runes quite easily and today i will explain how you can get to this area without having any medallions so firstly guys you will need to gain access to the capital this area right here uh, this can be done via you having a dectus medallion if you haven't got the dectus medallion you can still get up here but odds are you probably have i mean search youtube for a guide i don't think you can make a mistake with the dectus medallion so just search youtube for a guide on that it's your two parts you pick up within the areas down here relatively easy you come up here guys use it on the lift and you gain access to the capital but if you haven't got that or you, you can make mistakes you can come this way so if you come up here guys come up here you can climb up ladders here guys and you'll end up at a boss fight here the magma worm maker take him out and you gain access to the capital via this way quite easy once you're in the capital though guys you will have to make your way through progress through this area come around here take out a boss here a mini boss here kill him come through the capital you will have to take out godfrey and the omen king not too hard i won't lie well hey that's all dependent on your level and your play style but once you take out them you're actually rewarded a guaranteed medallion which you can use after you come through the forbidden lands uh, you'll come up here to the grand lift of the road and you'll gain access to the main tops of the giants now once you are here guys what you would have to do like i said to get the halic true medallion get the one half from down here and the other half you would have to travel up to commander niall who can be quite a hard boss and kill him climb up to the rooftop and get the other half of the medallion and then you'd come back down to the grand lift of road press the left or the right on your d-pad and you'll then gain access to the hidden path to the halic tree and you'd have to come all the way up here but hey there's a new way a better way, a quicker way, requires no fighting of Commander Niall. And like I said, if you messed up with the Halley Tree Medallion, you can still do this. So guys, from the Grand Lift of Road, obviously after you've taken out the Omen King and, King and Godfrey, this is what you gotta do. So at the Grand Lift of Road uh, Grace Point, I'll run you through exactly where we gotta go. So come to the, the lift, bit, bit foggy in here guys. Let me put on my light actually, I don't think it's gonna make much of, nope, didn't think so either way and this is actually one of the better farms in the game like i said uh the mogwin dynasty area is is unbelievable the best farms in the game take place down there but i know there are many players who don't, can't access that area via certain reasons um so yeah and if you need to get to this area for other means guys if you need to get to the hidden path to the Tree area for other means this will also help you out like i said you gain access to this entire area so hey what you want to do from here guys is we want to make our way to around there and this is quite easy if you follow the path i take on screen now now i won't speed this up because it can be hard to follow when you speed things up even though you can slow it down with youtube's playback features but either way let's follow the path i take on screen now guys but yeah it is a decent farm like i said i posted it a couple of days back and i saw a couple of people complaining about it's in an area which you can't get to or well, not yet anyway but there are plenty of ways to get up here i mean i think you can skip the entirety of the initial part of the game and get to the capital from the capital you can cheese the omen king and gain access to that's your the hidden path the forbidden path path and then come up to the grand lift of road which i made a full guide on on a new character just to showcase to you guys it can it can be done so hey yeah stay tuned for that guys i may just bring it but hey come this way guys just follow the path i take i mean it's like it's on the map it seems like it's just a straightforward run but it ain't but i've run this so many times i know this area like the back of my hand 
So yes, just come this way. Ignore every boss, don't worry about any of these. I mean, you can, obviously, and you probably should uh, take out or t uh, activate the graces as you're running through here, just in case you do die. I don't know what the moons are there for. Oh, actually, I was just experimenting earlier, trying to throw myself up the map, looking for new spots, but there uh, doesn't seem to be any around this area. But yeah, this is a great spot. Like I said, you'll earn 100k easily every minute. Uh, once you get this down, it's quite simple. It's actually a room farm I've seen a lot of people pick up on, and rightly so. Other content creators covering this, and rightly so, it's a great, great spot. Okay, so yeah, just keep coming across here, guys. I mean, it's not far left to go, to be honest. And there's a grace point right by here. Um, so if you do, because what we've got to do is we've got to actually jump down into that hidden path to the Helly Tree area. There's a grace point nearby which we will run to to activate just in case you do fail the first time. It can be a little tricky going that spot down. But I'll explain all in a quick second. So let's keep coming this way guys and as you can see where we are on the map right here. We are, we're going to have to come around this way I believe. I mean actually looking at the map I can't really tell which way I got to go. But actually just running it I know exactly which way I got to go. Craziness. Yes I know. Yes I know people. But when you've got I'm cl closing in on 600 hours. When you've got 600 hours game time this is what happens. This is what happens to the grace point right there, guys, which I would uh, suggest you activating. And then we just want to come around here. I'm actually not far from it, to be honest. It's not even that far of a run. And this is the guy I normally test out weapons on and builds out on. Uh, so once you come here, you want to turn left. So once you see the big guy, turn left and run away from him. And then you want to come down this way. Again as well guys, um, if you've got means of boosting your rune gains in regards to the gold scarab that helps out an absolute ton or if you've got the gold uh, pickle with foul feet they work great too but like I said uh, if you don't know if you use a gold pickle with foul feet and I'm pretty sure if you fast travel to a grace you use that you lose that uh, the buff so yeah keep that in mind and this this farm here requires you fast traveling back to a grace so from here guys let's jump up here just like so and just land there and come around this way come around this way and we want to jump up here just like so then we want to cross this bridge you can see where we're at right now guys we're right there now the spot is about here but you want to go and activate this grace point just in case you do make a mistake in the jump down which I'll show you in a second so we want to go down here and to our route. so ignore him ignore him completely and jump down this way if you're here at night there will be a, a death right bird here which you could take out if you want to drops a decent weapon but yeah we want to make our way down you can see the big old castle soul which is actually a great spot uh, in regards to the bus himself but yeah let's keep coming down this way and I'm pretty sure as well guys you can jump off the map buy this boss and actually uh, cheese him if you wanted to do that but I don't, I don't honestly I don't see the point in cheesing bosses like that but hey that's just me that's just me I still post guides on it if people want to see it but either way now this is a grace point guys you want to activate so from this grace point I'm going to go back to that spot right there so like I said the spot we're going to now you do have to jump off the map so obviously if you fail you'll go back to that grace point simple as that simple as that guys come this way and we're making a way just just back up where we come down not too hard whatsoever and just come through here up here like this simple simple people and we want to come down here to our right like i said at night night time there should be a bus here for you you can take out or you can run past him you don't actually have to fight him if you don't want to you can still do this so from here guys we want to jump onto it's that little ledge there right in front of me we want to jump onto that like i said if you fail you will go back to the grace back down there so we want to run and jump just like so get on here guys and then we want to double jump towards that right there and we want to actually land we want to miss the rocks initially below us and we want to land on that area down there and we'll die and I'll show you exactly what it do because what happens if we die down there we can actually respawn back down there and that area guys is the area we want to be in the whole area 
Okay, so what you want to do here, guys, is you want to run and double jump. It's quite hard to do. So if you, if you say, let's like, say you're facing this way, so you double jump right here, and while you're in midair, press that sprint button and hold it. Simple as that. Then you want to turn around, point in the direction of that way, and double jump again. But you want to time, you want to delay the second jump as much as possible. So you clear the rocks below us. So double jump here, just like so. Run, double jump, and then a swing. And hopefully, guys, you will miss the rocks. That rock right there, you can see, that's the one you want to miss. So if you land here, you're fine. It doesn't matter. You can clear it even further than that if you want to, and land right on the floor. But it's just the rocks are literally just above me there. If you land on them, you'll fail and you'll have to go back to that grace point. But when this pops up, guys, when you initially get it right and you land a little bit further down, you can just check, uh, select uh, Stake of America and then you basically spawn back in at this area. And it really is that simple, guys. And from here, you want to activate the first grace you come across, no doubt about it. Because if you do die, you could be a little stuck. I'm not too sure. Haven't experienced that myself yet. But as you can see, we are right here. Right here, guys. That's where we just fell off. And we spawn back here. Now we want to come to this grace point. So I'm going to take that there so we can run towards it. It's literally just there, guys. We run past all these enemies. Don't stress about these. Electric just run past them, people. We run past them. And they can hit pretty hard. I won't lie to you. Come over this way and we want to run towards that grace point. Now from here, this is where the rune farm basically starts. You'd have to do one more thing first, which isn't too hard. But hey, there's a grace point right there. That's Where's that then? But here's a grace point. This is the grace point. Let me sit down. It won't let me pop up for some weird reason. Okay, so from here, guys, we are now at the Ordina Town. Now, Ordina Town, um, basically, there's a little puzzle here. Uh, the puzzle unlocks a seal. The seal, you, you can use a teleporter once you unlock the seal and it takes you up to this area right here. We need to clear the seal, but we ain't actually going to the area. And I'll showcase you what I mean right now. So from this grace point, guys, jump on your mount and come this way. Up these steps and round this corner. Now you'll see when you first get here for the first time, there'll be an item there on that dude, but there will be a seal blocking this door. And we need to remove that seal. To do that, guys, come back here and you'll see there will be an Evil Jail right here, glowing blue. All you need to do is go inside of it, guys. I'm not sure if you need a stone sword key, I can't remember. But go inside of it, guys, and you'll have to light four candles. I mean, it's quite easy. There's one there, there's one up there. There's, I think it's, it's three or four either way. But I'll put a guide. Actually, you know what? I'll quickly showcase a clip on the screen now. i speed it up of where these are. So you can do that if you're unsure. But once you actually initiate all four candles, they'll be teleported back to here. Okay, so once you've lit all four candles, guys, you'll be teleported back to this area and you'll see that the seal will have been removed. Now, right here, guys, you can, if you want to, go on to the uh, Halley Tree area, this area right here, and mess around in here if you want to, or you can do the room farm. And it's simple. Like I said, firstly, guys, if you have the golden scarab, put that on. I would say 
use uh, the gold pick with foul feet but i'm pretty certain every time you fast travel back to a grace you lose the buff so it's pretty pointless so from here guys this is how you find the runes you want to run to this corner and double jump off this edge and you want to delay that second jump on your mount obviously as much as possible and then just swing that weapon away i'll showcase you exactly what i mean so you run from here guys you jump delay the second jump and then just swing away and it really is that simple now another thing i will say is guys sometimes the camera don't follow you as you fall and so just keep swinging that weapon just in case if you don't die and you keep swinging your weapon but the camera stays at the top then you'll still get those runes it really is that simple so sometimes the camera will follow you sometimes it won't follow you as you're seeing on screen now so don't give up guys keep trying and you'll get this place down to a t earning millions of runes very very easily but guys there we have it if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more out of ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people i will see you on that next one